Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the web shooter today. This is Robbie Ross and I'm going to be uh, reporting my progress. Alright, before I show you guys the actual shooter prototype and its basics, uh, basic components, I'm going to show you guys the spinneret design that I have in mind because that's the next logical step. Now the type of valve we're using for this is the same kind of valve that you'll find in a helium tank. So it's a rubber tube mixed with a uh, an end stopper that's kind of important then it hooks up to a nut there's where the um, the threading will go and then there's a little plunger in here connected to a stick and the second the stick moves that's when the fluid will come in now what I was thinking for this particular type of valve is you have to kind of push it down with a um, with a lever and because it takes a full bending of the plastic tubing around it I think that we should incorporate that into the design so that we can make it a bit easier to activate it and to uh, give it the spinneret properties now my thoughts on this is if this is the tube I'll color that black just to make sure it stands out from the rest of it I think that what we should do is we should start adding tons of little tubes, tons of them. And they'll probably be insulated by actual duct tape, like tape net meant for duct work, because that uh, insulates heat really well. It doesn't insulate, it, um, it absorbs heat really well because it's a metallic tape. So we wrap that around to make sure it's a snug fit. And so whenever the lever, I'll show you right here, Whenever you push down the lever, it'll force all of it to go down instead of waiting until the metal or the rubber part hits the uh, rod. So anyway, the fluid's going to come in through here, and then it's going to come through all these tubes and split. Now there's going to be a heating system. It's uh, it's a type of coil. I think it's a nickel chromium type uh, wiring that does this. You hook that up to a battery and a switch. You know the usual. And then once you um, get all that done, it'll start heating this tube. And because it's insulated by the metal tape and the, the tubes we'll be using are copper, it'll uh, heat it up. Now, I'm trying to debate how we can keep the rubber intact. I'm wondering if we should use a type of um, vinyl shrink wrap or... Uh, by the way, I meant heat shrink, not shrink wrap. Or that kind of rubber that they use in kitchen mitts to make sure that you don't burn your hands. Whatever the case, it's going to be insulated. The wires are going to heat up the copper tubing, which will heat up the formula, removing acetone. Now, uh, you probably heard that thing about knot theory, and I'll explain what that is. Now, as, these, um, as the fluid leaves the tube, it's going to be in a nearly almost solid state, and so it'll create these little threads coming out of all of the uh, things. Now, if you're like me, anytime you've put your headphones into your pocket, it'll completely distort it like it had just graduated the contortionist college and become this long rope of wires and tangles. We're going to use that to our advantage. There's so many threads here and they're coming out so fast. And because the adhesive isn't quite working yet, it doesn't work well with uh, heat. It's going to... Um, force all of them to sort of contort together and as it congeals, it, as it um, cools down due to passing through the air, it'll um, it'll stick together. So what you have here is it'll create a bunch of knots um, within all these strands to create one rope coming out from that little port at the front of the helium valve. And so that's the basic design of the spinneret. I think it's going to give us the result we want and we can control how thick we want the line based off of the opening port which we can trim down due to convenience. Now I'm going to show you guys the actual shooter itself. Um, it's really small because it doesn't have a uh, pressure, vessel, uh, pressure vessel attached to it. Unlike the Minimus which had its own built-in contained system, this one's meant to hold a tank which means that it's um, for lack of a better term, it's smaller and it has to be hooked up to a tank. So it's got less fluid than the Minimus, ironically. So here's the shooter. Let me uh, pull it out. 
that's what it is. Uh, let me, um, it's covered in duct tape, as you can see. I need to modify this lever so that it's a little bit thicker. I used the polymorph, but it's it bends a bit. So let me just show you for a size comparison. Here's my hand, here's my wrist, here's the shooter. Let me uh, pull down the camera real quick. And this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I'll show you a video of this firing once I get the whole uh, shooter thing cleaned out. Now, this is a helium valve hooked up to a, uh, a polymorph lever, and you pull it down, and it activates a little line. But it, you have to really pull that sucker down before it actually gets done. Now, this is the, uh, the tank I'm using for the... Uh, the valve uh, fitting. What you do is you just simply hook this up, you pull the lever and you start pressurizing it. And it will travel through this fluid line into this coupler, which I coated in plumber's tape to make sure that's a tight fit. You just screw that in and then uh, pull the lever and it fires. Well, it should fire anyway. This This little tube is connected to a straw which goes into the fluid and that's how it pulls the fluid, but unfortunately, because it's such a tight opening, the fluid keeps getting jammed. Please no innuendos there. And so what I need to do is I need to turn this upside down and make sure that the fluid's coming through a funnel-like opening going into the shooter instead of having it down and forced through a straw. I think gravity feeding will make it easier. That's my dog. So what I'm thinking about doing is um, making another version with a coke bottle to uh, kind of this thing's massive so I want to make it smaller and modify the design so once you hook it up let me uh, just screw that in real quick Then you just pull the lever and it releases air and water and things like that. The reason I covered it in duct tape is because I'm going to modify the lever and I'm probably going to cover this with silicone so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't degrade because polymorph is biodegradable. Well guys, this is the shooter. It doesn't look all that impressive, but it's it works really well once you get the uh, viscosity problem down. And I'm kind of excited about this. Combining this with the spinner red idea should give us the optimum shooter. Anyway, you guys have a good time. Uh, White Widow out.